son of a bitch. I wasn't even recording. Okay, that just pissed me off. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nia Imani, also known as King Nia, because I'm the king around this hoe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are an old subscriber, thank you guys so much for coming back. Now, I am going to ask all of you new people to stop what you're doing and hit the subscribe button. Like, right now. Right now. Okay, so I'm going to give y'all a chance because I feel like I say that and y'all just be like, <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to give you a moment. Go ahead. Okay, did you do it? All right, bet. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my God, all the buttons. Just hit the buttons, okay? Just hit the buttons, share, all that stuff. I just wanna get into this video, okay? This video is going to be uh, 10 hygiene tips for dancers. Um, I truly believe, honestly, truly, I believe that these tips will help um, anyone in the, you know, in the club that's looking to like um, gain like confidence, um, get more, like make more money, um, get, grab more attention from like clients, things like that. Like hygiene is the biggest thing, okay? So we're just gonna jump right into it. Number one, fresh breath. Ladies, all right, so listen. I'm just gonna say this because most women drink in the club. No man thinks it's cute in the club to have a girl walk up on you and whisper in your ear and her breath smell like Henny. Fix it, okay? Um, You should not, like, if you're drinking, even if, I mean, like, you could be there for a long time. So, like, I know sometimes if I haven't eaten anything, it's like the, the smell of your stomach. I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, but, like, if you haven't eaten anything, you could be hungry and your breath, like, starts not smelling too fresh, or if you've been drinking, shit, even if you took a break and you eat, if you go to uh, the chef and he gives you some food that have on has onions or like something in it, you definitely don't wanna be walking up on clients with your breath smelling like that. Like, that's a no-no, okay? Don't do that. Um, get you some gum, okay? You need to have some gum. Please, even if you don't have gum, have a little, um, well, I honestly, I recommend gum. Um, you could have a toothbrush with like toothpaste and mouthwash. Yes, that's really good too. But I just feel like I don't have time to stop what I'm doing, go to the dressing room, open my locker, get toothpaste, get mouthwash, all that. I'd rather just, you know, rinse my mouth out with some water, make sure it's nothing in there, spit it out, and then throw some gum up in there. Keep gum. Even if it's in your purse, keep it in your little bag that you carry around, like anything, your money bag, whatever. Put some gum in your bag, ladies. I'm telling you, it's going to save you. Uh, okay. Okay. Number two, keep your cootie cat clean, ladies. I mean, I never thought in a million years that it would be so hard to explain to women keeping the vagina clean. But baby, okay, if you're gonna be dancing on people, even if you're just walking around the club, I can't. I don't wanna smell you after I see you. And I should, I should not smell you before or after I see you. That's just... That's nasty. You should keep that down there like in order. I don't know how else to say it. Like it's not that hard. I mean, if it is, you need to go see somebody, but we should not be, I mean, honestly, for me, I'm gonna speak for myself. I do not use anything besides water down there. Um, I use like soap on, cause I'm a thicker girl, like on my, you know, the crevices of my thighs and all that. But in my cootie, no soap. I have a very sensitive hoo-ha, okay? She will go off. And by me, when I say off, I mean pH off. She will go off if I do anything out of the ordinary to her. So, like, I wash and I make sure I get her nice and clean, pull her back, open the lip, all that. But you definitely have to make sure that you have no odor, even if you're on your period. Like, if you're on your period, you should be taking... A bath right before you go to work like a shower right before you go to work or have something to freshen up i mean honestly my biggest i don't have anything else to freshen up with i don't know the only way i freshen up down there is by taking a shower i don't know no i don't have any other ways because i'm too sensitive down there but do what you gotta do to make that thing who do what you gotta do to keep your who who 
E ah uh, I don't know you know what I'm saying like you you can't you can't be having an odor that's just unacceptable um the main thing I feel like like I said use water you should have like you need to use soap and water good old soap and water before you go in the club keep that down there okay um following that keep your kitty cat smooth all right um especially if you um work in a new club or if you work in a club where you plan on taking your underwear off. Or not even just that. If you wear anything revealing. Let me. Mm, it's a shame. How many bushwhack bills. The dressing room. I couldn't think of it. I'm stuck. I'm just baffled. I mean like girls be getting dressed and you see a whole field down there. And I'm like. That is just nasty. No dude wants to see that. You have to remember, they're coming to see a fantasy. Um, nine times out of ten, they have a vision of the woman that they want to see. They don't want to see that. They go home and see that. You, ma'am, are out of order if you keep that thing hairy down there. I mean, like, girls be so cute. And then I get in the like the dressing room and I'm like, I'm like ooh, that's horrible. So I do wax, um, I self wax, especially right now because we're in quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. Um, but I use sugar wax. Um, whenever I'm doing like a full wax, I'll do sugar wax. But if like you need to touch up or whatever, these are really good, the beat um, strips, the wax strips, these are really quick. I don't know. Um, I don't know if all wax is the same, but like, the waxes that I've used, they can get really messy. Like, I mean, sugar wax, honestly, to me, I feel like sugar wax doesn't get that messy, but other waxes that I've used, like regular wax, that shit gets so messy and the string and all that, it's all over the place and it's just, ugh. So if you're trying to do a quick touch up, I feel like these are better. You can like um, pull them apart. Um, you can cut them smaller because they're pretty long. They're like this long. So if you're doing your, um, your girl, this is good for like the size, but if you're trying to get the top and the bottoms, you can cut these in half. These work really well. Keep your keep her smooth down there. And this goes into no, tip number, what is this, four? Yes, keep your legs smooth too. Like, baby, if you're gonna sit on his lap, he should not be feeling like prickly pears or getting caught up in your hair on your leg. That is not attractive. His wife probably sitting at home with them same legs. And that's exactly why he's came to see you, ma'am. So you need to not give him the same shit that he got at home, okay? Give him something else. Give him something to look at. Give him these smooth feet. All right, I just did a whole advertisement. But you know what I'm saying? Keep your leg, keep your cootie cat smooth. Keep your legs smooth. Um, I do not wax my legs. I keep saying that I wanna like start waxing my legs but I ain't got the strength in me yet. So I'm a big nail person. Um, these are the two that I've been using. I really, really love this. This um, is my first time. I, I, if I could, um, I say um so much. It doesn't make any sense. Like, this is sad. I just, I'm sorry. I'm awkward at talking y'all. Y'all know that already. Anyway, this one is new, I think. Yeah, it's new. It was my first time buying this one. I love this. Like, I'm gonna keep buying this one still just to switch up, just because I feel like like with my body, my body gets used to anything and then it stops working as well as it used to. So I'm probably gonna switch up, which would probably make it even better. But I really love this one, the, the Nair Legs Mask, the Leg Mask, bruh. My legs, cause I really, I exfoliate a lot, but this right here is like I won't have to exfoliate. I won't have to exfoliate before, after, nothing. Like it keeps your legs smooth. It feels so good. Like, ah, oh, I love this. And then this is like um, a NADS cream. Uh, yeah, you can see that. Cause I usually use their wax, but I have their cream as well. This one works real good too. I have really thick, coarse hair all over my body, y'all. I'm hairy. Like it don't make no sense. I'm a hairy. I'm hairy. I'm hairy. Speaking of hair, it goes into my next tip. Keep your face smooth too. I have to wax my lip. My upper lip. My, my upper lip. I have to wax my lip. I have to wax my nose because I get hair inside my nose. It's ridiculous. Like it's upsetting me and my homegirls because I have to wax all the time. But you got to do what you got to do. 
Um, I have my dad's jeans and my mom was real hairy too. So I have to keep myself smooth. So I definitely use these like on my lip. These are great to wax your lip. Um, and also like if you have hair on your toenail, like on your toe knuckles, I know that's gross, but I get that too. I use these as well. Cut them. <laughs> yes, keep yourself smooth, ladies. Everything, all this. Cuckoo, face, legs. You need to keep yourself smooth. Underarms, all that. Dudes don't want to, you know what I mean? They don't want to be all up on you and feeling like your hair and all that and whatever. Um, another tip for your cootie cat. I don't know what tip number this is. Um, because all the legs and the hair, I was all one. I don't know. But anyway, use one of the, like, this is really good to exfoliate on the sides of your thighs and like your bikini area to stop ingrown hairs. Um, you just want to keep her as cute as possible. You know, if people are looking at it or looking towards it or in the area. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, hygiene tip number six, keep you some deodorant. I cannot stress this enough. You could be so cute, but I'm telling you, if you have a stench, you could be the prettiest, baddest thing, fine, walking through, confidence, everything. If you stink, it don't matter what you look like. Ain't nobody, nobody wants to dance with you. Nobody wants to dance with you. Ain't nobody going to want to dance with you. I'm sorry. So I have to be honest. That's the truth. So definitely keep you some deodorant. Um, put it on right, put it on before you go to the club. Put it on while you're getting dressed right before you walk out. Keep yourself smelling fresh you don't want to scare people off okay hygiene tip number seven lost count i don't know hygiene tip whatever keep you some wipes too you don't want to um wipes and hand sanitizer these can be i don't care just keep be be clean okay be clean you want to have wipes you want to have hand sanitizer anything to keep germs of, off of you in between touching people and touching things, the pole, um, the door handles, these niggas, like, you know, whatever. Um, I gotta stop saying niggas. These guys, um, anything. You just, you wanna keep yourself clean. After you do a dance, if somebody's like sweaty, dirty, nasty, I don't know, wipe yourself. You know, wipe your legs off, wipe your hands off, whatever. Get you some hand sanitizer. Um, after you touch, you know, deal with the people, wash, wipe your hands. You don't want them lingering on you. You don't want that like all over you all the time. Like, you know, there's just a good, it's just, I mean, good hygiene. Good hygiene is good hygiene. I can't stress it enough. And the more you pay attention to your hygiene, keeping yourself um, up to par, I promise you, I promise you, you will make more money. I promise you, you will make more money. Another tip, listen, them feet, them feet is beat. Them feet is beat. And you need to beat those feet back with one of these. I'ma pay, okay? You know, most shoes, I know my shoes, um, dancer shoes, they have the opening in the back for the heel. The last thing a nigga need to see is that crusty ass heel, that dry ass heel and them dry ass side of your toes peeking out your shoes. That is not cute, okay? Scrape, okay? I, I, I mean, you don't have to do it every day. I have really like, once again, I have my dad's jeans, so I have real rough feet. Um, I have to get my feet done on a daily. Like, okay, I have to get my feet done. Um, it's just no way around it. My feet are real mannish, okay? Real strong, like, real aggressive, real testosterone -ness. Just, ugh. So I have to use one of these. I'm telling you, ladies, I know this seems like, I know all of this seems like real, like, small things, but I promise you, they are things that, like, men pay attention to. You'd be surprised. Some men don't pay attention. Those are the ones you don't want. The ones that don't pay attention and stuff like that because those are the dirty ones. Those are usually the broke ones. But the men's that got the monies and the coins and the ones that you want to, uh, uh, what is it called, attract, they pay attention to your hands, your feet, your nails, your skin, your breath, your hygiene. Those things are important. So keep your feet smooth. Like it doesn't take long. You can put this on. I do it. I keep running the race. I do this like 
um, three times a week. Well, if if I haven't got my feet done, I'll do it like every day. I ain't gonna lie to you. If I haven't got my feet done two, three days, I, I mean two, three weeks. I mean three weeks. Yeah, if I ain't got my done, feet done three weeks, because that's when they start looking like, not barking. They're not barking, but they're growling. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not, rrr, rrr, but they, I would start using this to cut all that back, um, calluses, all that. Uh, then I'll put like a real thick lotion on and put some socks on. I've heard people say that socks dry your feet out. I don't know. It works for me. So I'll put, use this. After I get out the shower, my feet are completely dry. Use this. Put some lotion on. Put my socks on. Boom. There you go. Feet are smooth and nice and lovely. Um, pick the same thing with your hands. Use a scrub on your hands. You're going to be touching men. They love when your hands are soft and smooth and oh my gosh, she's so delicate. She's so sweet. She smells like a flower. You're a rose. They love it, okay? You're once again you're selling a fantasy. So you want to look fantasy-ish. Or I don't know if that's a word. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that you're up to par. What is going on with this shirt? You want to make sure that you're up to par. So those are my tips. I don't know how many tips that was. That was supposed to be 10 tips, but I think I might have went over 10 tips. I definitely gave you 10 tips. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Ooh, I remember to say that at the end of my video. I love all of y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.